Today on the Woodyard, I'm looking at tractors and giant. So I'm here today doing some tractor shopping for my brother, my brother Eric's tractor. He's got a TYM. It's a little 25 horsepower one, I think. Something like that, it's real small. Well, he's had some problems with it. He's broke some stuff on it and he's thinking about getting a new one. And where he lives, there's a dealer, but they only have one or two, literally have one or two tractors sitting there. And I told him I would stop in and take a look at this place. This is a Fox Valley truck. They have lots of uh, TYMs. As you can see, they got a whole row here. So I'm just kind of looking at them to see what they've got for models. They're not open today, it's a Sunday. So I figured that's a perfect time to stop in and just kind of nose around and peek and see what there is here. And the reason he's thinking about getting another TYM, maybe, is that they got a dealer right where he lives, but they just don't have many in stock right now. They're not a real big dealership, but if he buys one, it's literally three, four miles from his house. So anyway, I just thought I'd stop in and take a look. This is a nice one. The cab, it's got your control right here, uh, right next to where you want it. It's got the nice pedals forward reverse just like you're supposed to have not a treadle pedal tym obviously a lot of you have heard of them they recently acquired branson and branson is one of the tractors i originally looked at and this is the place that had them but i decided to go with a coyote but these are very nice so this one right here is a uh, t474 so i think it's like a 45 horsepower i'm just guessing i think that's about what it would be uh, there's two of them sitting here side by side. I don't know what they're going to cost. Uh, I don't know much about them other than they look really nice. Red tractors are cool looking. So on the same one here on this side, they got the really nice tires. I forget what these are called. They're not egg tires and they're not what I have. They're the newer style. There's a name for them. I'm sure somebody's screaming at the camera right now telling me what they are. I'd have to look and read and I can't read right now. Uh, bigger tractors here. This is These here are 57 fours quite a bit bigger um very well this is a 49 and this is a 57 so this is probably a 50 50 horsepower and this one's probably a 55 or 60. nice tractors pretty good sized ones too but yeah look at that is that a thing of beauty or what oh and they got a really nice one down here this is getting to be man-sized tractors here here they got the turf tires and then this one here's got egg tires I know this is an egg. This is what I have. These are, oh, what is it called here? I got to look because somebody's going to be mad at me for not saying what they are. There's a name. Oh, the R4s. The R4s. That's what I have, the R4s. So, oh, that's a nice looking tractor. So this one here is a, it's a power shuttle. So it's a 75 horsepower, probably. It's a 75, four, whatever that means. I don't know what their numbers are, but these are all really nice looking tractors. And this is the main reason I stopped because Adam and Bertman were telling me, hey, they got giants there. And I kind of knew what they were. It's an articulating loader. And look at this little guy here. This is a tiny one, but look at that. It articulates right here. Look at that. It's got a grapple. That would be really nice for logs. Very cool. And I think this is telescoping in and out. So it does a lot of cool stuff. This one's pretty small. I don't know what these cost. I don't know the numbers. Uh, this tiny one here is a G. 1200 telly so it's like a telly handler this one here is a 1500 this one that's got the bucket right here and a little bit smaller than the one next to it and this one's really nice this is a nice one this is a g 2700 hd nice size uh, because they articulate these would be very nice for loading logs in in the wood yard for doing stuff lights are right out front not like a tractor where it's hidden behind the bucket. Although if you put a bucket on here, it'd still be hidden behind it. But these are cool, very cool. Um, again, like I said, I don't know the prices. I don't know what the different models are. All I know is it looks sweet. Um, but this would be something that would be very nice for in the wood yard. And then look at here, ooh, ooh, ah. Here's a 58. Very nice open station. So I'm guessing that's probably about a 60 horsepower. I'm just guessing by the size of it. I, again, I don't know. This one here is a 57. So they have lots of them. If my brother is interested, I'm gonna have to have him come here and look. Here's a 47. Now this is close to what I would get size wise and what I recommended to him. I think this is probably about a 45 or a 50 horsepower, somewhere in that range. Very, 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 very nice. 
I like the size of it. Oh, they're all nice. There's nothing wrong with any of these. This next one here is a, numbers are hidden way back here, 42, 4215. And again, I don't know what the numbers are and what that means. Obviously, it's usually the frame size, engine size, uh, loader size, all that kind of stuff. This one here is a 25. So this is the smaller one. This is probably a 25 horsepower, I'm guessing. Like I said, I don't really know. Another 25, uh, another 25. Obviously, they sell a lot of 25s. And another 25. And then down here, I think these are the smaller ones. Yeah, yeah these are the small ones. And they got some real big ones down here, too. Oh, that's nice too. A lot of nice stuff here. Yeah, these are the real small ones here, which are nice. But I need something I can look for. It's a 26. So it's much smaller frame. And uh, this one here is also a 25, just a plain 25, whatever that means. So obviously smaller ones, smaller ones. Oh, here's a Branson. So I got one left. Uh, Cause that's what they had exclusively for a long time. And I almost, almost bought a Branson. Would have been every bit as good as my Coyote, um, but I don't know. Just so many people had Coyotes, that's what I decided to go with. So a bunch more TYMs, little bitty guys here. 22 fours, whatever that means, and then there's some bigger ones over here again. Let's go see what they've got. They are nice tractors. Very, very nice. I'm sure some of you know way more than I do about it. I'm just stopped by and just taking a look to see some of the numbers here and recording it so my brother can see these here. It's a 57. That's awesome. Uh, next to it, another 57. Next to that one, another 57. Another 57. Another 57. Another 57. And a 49. All with uh, cabs. All very, very nice. And here's a little Branson. It's got the whole setup here. Look at that. You can buy the tractor, the trailer, the whole setup. Everything's right there for you. Very cool. And they got another Branson over here. Small guy. And an old, holy smokes, look at that. I bet they took that on trade or something. That's an old guy there. And uh, this one's got a little backhoe, a little baby backhoe. Pretty cool. What is this one? This one is a 25, whatever that means. 25 horsepower, I'm assuming. So yeah, they got some nice stuff here. And uh, I have to have my brother get up here and have him take a look at all of these because he is like they say, in the market. Um, oh, look at this, they got the bad boy tractors. No, I did not know they made tractors. Look at this. That is a 4035H, so I'm guessing that's probably a 40 horsepower. Nice, nice looking little tractor. It's got a little backhoe action on it. All riggers, look at that. Separate seat and everything, pretty cool. Look at this. I know they made lawnmowers and I heard that they were gonna be making tractors. I just didn't know they had them here. Like I said, I haven't been here in like a year now. Two years since I bought my tractor. Here's a little guy. Oh, look at this. They got a little track loader thingy up here. Look at this. Look at that. Is that something? I would imagine that they probably have all the hydraulics so you can put a uh, lift on this too, probably for guys that do tree service. 34 horsepower, Kawasaki engine. It's called a switch. Very cool. I know you, I've seen these in the, uh, I think Toro has some of these, something like that anyway. Here's another one, a little stand, stand in back and lean, lean back. Snow Raider for doing sidewalks. Cool. These bad boys are kind of cool looking. I like the uh, black tires and the black rims. Very nice. This is a nice size tractor, but they have one which leads me to believe they don't have a lot of different sizes. They're probably getting into the market and there's a good chance, I don't know, just guessing, someone else is making them for them. It would be hard to say, let's just see, somebody will know. Uh, according to what I see there, I don't see any name I recognize as far as, it's an actual bad boy and the uh, Kujiki KM machinery, whatever that means in Korea. So it's possible it's made by one of the other manufacturers. Somebody will know. There's always somebody smarter than me, but that doesn't take much. Uh, so anyway, yeah, they got lots of nice tractors here. So my brother is thinking something in this range. It's a 42, 47, somewhere right in there. I know either one, something that size, he'd be very happy with. He's been looking at the possibility of trading his in. Um, 
I think you should buy me one of these. Or you guys, somebody should buy me one of these. That'd be awesome. Um, so there's a chance someday, if the business keeps growing, that we may get something like this. Because this would be better than a skid steer, in my opinion, because I could use it for a lot of different things. You see a lot of these articulating loaders in big wood yards where they do lots of... Uh, log work uh, i know a lot of lumber yards have articulating loaders some of them have uh, uh much bigger ones but something like this for me moving logs would be really nice i could get in between the rows of things move stuff around and uh it'd be very cool so i'm gonna check on the pricing on this uh, now that i know the numbers i will look it up and just get a general idea and maybe if i'm smart enough i can get it on the screen and show you guys kind of what these things go for now that i know the numbers so that's all I got for today. I just thought I'd stop in and oogle a little bit and take a look at the machines. So that's it for today, folks. Go watch some more videos. Go watch some more stuff. Look at the tractors. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.